All right, hey guys, so I'll be making my Q&A video today and yeah, let's get started. So first question, um, when, am, what, when are you going to do the giveaway? Uh, I'll probably do a giveaway rule next week so you guys will know more about the giveaway. But if you want to participate in the giveaway, it's better to make a Patreon account right now. So uh, I'll, I'll link in the um, I'll link in the description below. Just go sign up for it; it's free. So yeah, draw some etchy stuff. Um, yeah, I probably will draw some etchy stuff. When's that dope anime closet tour? Uh, All right, so let's check out my room. Alright, so hi Shido, that's my question, will you do a tutorial for how to color with Copic Sketch or Chow? Um, I'm currently making a video of my skin tutorial right now, so I think that will solve your questions. What is your favorite anime genre? Mine is comedy. If I can only watch one genre, like nothing else, I would probably pick romance because I don't know, I, I'm just, I just like romance because romance has like a lot of things, you know. Here's my question, what inspires you to draw? Uh, anime in general, <laughs> anime? <laughs> if there's no anime, I will not touch art at all, so yeah. Um, do you prefer markers or color pencils when drawing and what makes you decide which to use for drawings? Keep, keep up with the awesome work. Uh, currently, I use both for a drawing because I feel like um, it they help they cover um, what they uh, the other can't do. So, for example, for markers, I think the drawing for markers they their result turn out to be brighter and color pencil just turn out to be smoother. So, if you combine both, it just look a lot better. So yeah. But if I have to pick one, I will definitely pick markers because they're faster, they look brighter. My question for your Q&A is what is the best tip you can give to a person who wants to be a self-taught artist apart from just drawing daily? Is there any exercise they need to do daily, ATC? Thanks. Um, If you're an artist that draw once in a while, I recommend you to draw a reference or a complete drawing at least. So just pick out a drawing and then finish the whole thing like including sketching, lining, and coloring. That will help you um, grow faster if you're just doing once in a while. But if you're drawing daily, it's probably best to, for you to draw the anatomy. So like you draw like a hand, you draw the head, you draw every every parts of the body separately and then pick one day of the week to draw a whole character and the whole anatomy as a whole and then that will probably improve the fastest if you draw daily or very frequently so yeah what do you do against an art block all right so the thing about art block is when when you get to when you get there it's probably too late it's like it's like what do you do when you're dead you're dead, bitch. You can't do shit. So you, so you can only prevent it, but you can't do anything again. Like when it happens, it's probably hard, it's probably like too late. So the thing I do against my art block. So to prevent art block, first you need to like what you're doing. Second, you need to not do the things that you don't like. So don't draw characters that you don't like, don't draw anything that you don't like. And then just draw characters you like. And then don't force yourself to do something. Don't force yourself to draw if you don't want to draw at that moment. Take a break. Take a break before you want to take a break. Like, um, So if I'm drawing, I want to finish a whole drawing before I take a break. You probably want to take a break like halfway through your, the goal, the, the point where you want to take a break, you know? When do you start drawing top 5 anime and first anime you watch? 
I started drawing around last October. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna list my top five anime within the past five years because most of you probably don't even watch anime five years ago, or you probably don't want to watch anime that's that old because you, most of you are scrubs at anime. So top five anime are Gintama, Fairy Tale, Re Zero, One Punch Man and Psychopath. So that's like the five I can think from the top of my head right now. So they might not be like locked in, so I'm not sure. First anime you watched, uh, probably Fushigi Yugi. It's like when I was five, my mom was watching it. My mom's like obsessed with anime when she's like younger. And then she probably watched more anime than me until I was 10 and then yeah, that's like, it's, it's, a, it's a really good anime, or um, girls will like it, but overall it's a good anime, and recently they announced that they're gonna make, they're gonna remake the anime in the next few years, I don't know when, they haven't announced the official date yet, so I'm really excited for that. When are you going to do a giveaway? Next. Can you make a video on step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw anime characters and capture their likeness? Uh, yeah, I'll probably make that during uh during Christmas or something. Cause yeah, I'm, I'll be pretty busy, and then I've, I have a lot more videos that I want to get it in first. Have you ever designed your own characters? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm actually designing games char game characters for a game right now and then the game is probably going to be released during the summer and I'll tell you guys more about the game later on later on yeah What pencil pen are you using? I'm using a mechanical pencil and a Copic multi-liner How long normally used to make one video? Is your the Small size usually take me about six hours to make it, and then the full size, the normal size drawing, usually take me about ten hours. And can you show your real face? I show my real face like plenty of time. Every time I stream, and my older videos and my vlogs always have my face reveal. So you you, you can just go check that out. Can you please draw some love light characters? I already drew every single one of them from Love Live, all nine of them. So if you if you didn't if you didn't see the video, uh, I'll, I'll link it I'll link it in the description below. Are you self taught at drawing? Uh, yeah. When are you going to make the anime room tour? All right, so. The anime closet you always wanted to see. Here we go. All right, so this is this is my computer. This is my laptop. This is where I play. And oh shit, this is where I take a shit. This is my anime merchandise. What are some anime like Sailor Moon, Kill a Kill, Samurai Chipolu? But I heard the music comes out of Quickly, what are some anime that deserve to? be created as a bigger game instead of smaller games. So what I think should be uh, to make to be made into like a bigger game on PS3 or PS4, that's why I consider it as a bigger game. Got kill. I really think uh, I got kill deserve uh, a game on PS3 or PS a, a bigger game for Akame got kill cuz like it has so much potential to it. And another one is Gintama. I swear Gintama has every content in every single genre so I'm pretty sure Gintama is one of the anime that to every single anime game genre so you can probably you can make like a visual novel and it has a lot of romance maybe not that not that much but like small romances and then it has action it has storyline it has horror it has everything so yeah so Akame Ga Kill and Gintama there you go Question, what is your favorite anime character? Um, Asuna? <laughs> Alright, uh, would you watch hentai with us on your stream? It is legit. 
Am I gonna watch hentai on my stream? Uh, no. What the fuck? It'll get me banned. But, but, I, I, I could watch hentai on my stream, blocking out the screen, so you guys can see my face, and then you guys can hear the voice, and my face. That's it. There, there you go. That, that's a, that's a maximum thing I can do. Which type of anime do you like to draw the most? Looks, characteristic. I mean, for example. Uh, which type of the character I like the most, obviously, and then the character I like the most, they usually have long hair, and then their characteristic are like most likely they they would they could be called Onesan at some point of the anime, or she looked like one, you know. All right, next, what keeps you motivated to keep drawing anime? Which part of drawing do you like the most and why? Coloring, sketching, or inking? I like coloring and sketching because I can see like more progress to it, I suppose. But if I have to list, I would say coloring, sketching, then inking because being done and then I like to see progress. And sketching is some progress too. And then inking is just, I, I don't know. I just don't like inking as much. Which type? Which of your many artwork are you most proud of? Oh, uh, let me let me check. All right, I'm just gonna list like five. I really like my Mume drawing. I like my newest Amelia drawing and Saber drawing, Gilgamesh drawing, and then I really like my Chris drawing. I don't know why, but. My crush drawing has the most offer, like people want to buy my crush drawing for some reason and then uh, yeah, I, I really like the crush too and I, yeah, so yeah, next. Dojin when? When I get good? Uh, and last question. Could you draw Ria's Grimory? Mm. So yeah, that's all the question for this Q&A video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll probably make another, I'll probably post a Q&A video every like, every couple months and then yeah. So people will actually have question, legit question, not like stupid questions. Like some of them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.